Hello beautiful people, welcome or welcome back to my channel. It's Natasha aka Wellness Diva Chronicles Keto and I'm back with another easy, tasty, and delicious keto recipe for you guys. I hope you guys are going to enjoy it. And best of all, as you've been asking for, it's pasta. I totally get it. I've been eating a lot of different pasta dishes recently, whether it's like more from scratch style noodles like the ones I'm going to make in this recipe, which will be egg noodles. And that just is going to require eggs, cream cheese, a little bit of arrowroot, and a pinch of salt. But I've also been experimenting a lot with pre-made pasta brands like that of the Low Carb Bread Company, which I really like or carbonata which is also an excellent option that I've tried and enjoy and the whole household everybody enjoys it even if they're not completely on a ketogenic diet. I really do enjoy trying all different types of keto pasta or anything whether it's a pizza base or a brownie mix or just different bases to see what I like the best and look at all the options that we have available to us because we do have a lot of options on a low carb high fat diet right? So I like to explore all of them and you know try them different ways and see what comes out best. So today we're going to be doing a video that I'm sure you guys will like. It's going to be a keto pasta video, an egg noodle style keto pasta video. So if you're ready for that recipe and interested in that recipe, just stay tuned. You'll want to have your eggs and cream cheese at room temperature, so just take them out about 30 minutes before you're ready to get started. So to get started, I add two room temperature eggs to my blender, followed by one and a half ounces of cream cheese. Then I'm going to go ahead and add the arrowroot, that'll be one quarter teaspoon of arrowroot, and then a pinch of salt. Simple recipe. Next, I'll blend the mixture, starting at low speed all the way up to the highest blender speed and leave it blending for about a minute until it's completely combined and smooth. Once your mix is ready, go ahead and pour it onto a parchment lined pan. I initially had the parchment paper cut larger than the pan. I thought that the hangover would kind of help the mixture from getting all into the pan and maybe breaking the pasta, but instead it just blew the parchment onto the top of the pasta and that would have caused another problem of sticking. Just cut the parchment paper to the size of your pan. I cut my noodles to a width of about a quarter inch. You can go a little smaller or a little bigger if you like but I found that this was a pretty good size. I was out of pre-made Alfredo sauce and didn't have all the exact ingredients to do it from scratch but I did have this mix on hand so I used that along with about a tablespoon of Kerrygold butter and a quarter cup of heavy cream to make the sauce base. It came out delicious just the same. Once I combine the noodles and sauce, I go ahead and top the pasta with a little bit of fresh thyme that I'm growing in my micro garden. I'm excited about that. I haven't always had a green thumb. But a little extra commitment and the help of my Aero Garden hydroponic grower are making me very hopeful that I'm going to have success with these herbs and a bunch of vegetables I'd like to start trying to grow. So it's just as easy as that homemade keto pasta that I hope your family will love. I hope you guys make this recipe and enjoy it. And of course, as always, my diva family, stay safe and be well.